Hey there. All right, so what I'm going to go over is um, the baby get up. And it's called the baby get up, not because it's for babies. Wah, wah. But because it's the first, um, well, three, there's four moves in there um, of the Turkish get up. So it's the beginning variations of the Turkish get up. Now I'm going to show you a couple different variations. Um, I'll show you what it's like body weight, um, then have a shoe on my fist and then with a weight, okay? So let's go through it. So your first move is this, this, well, let, let's go through the setup. So you want your leg at about a 45 degree angle, about 45 and 45. The knee that's bent, that's the arm that's gonna be straight, okay? And the other arm, is going to be perpendicular, not perpendicular, is going to be parallel to your thigh, okay, on, on the down leg. So your first move here, like I had my hand just straight to the sky, but the first move here is this push and, and roll. I'm rolling to this arm here. And with this arm, I'm pulling at the same time. So you see there was a little bit of a lift there. I'm trying to limit that as best I can. So push, roll. And this is this first step. Now I want to make sure that I'm not kind of crunched in here. I want to open up my posture, sit nice and tall, like, hey, what's that? What's, what's that over there? So I'm here. Then the next step is to straighten this arm. So I'm going to push myself straight. And once again, I'm, I'm sitting in a good position here. I'm opened up. The shoulder's not in my ear. I can work on spinning this shoulder open as well. So this goes to the sky, and then all I'm going to do next is the last move, I drive my hip up to the sky. Boom. Right back down, ease it down, ease it down to the forearm, and then using my abs as my brake to go back down. So once again, I'm pushing, rolling, so I'm rolling and pulling here, straightening this arm out, nice and opened up here, driving this hip to the sky and then I ease myself back down, okay? So that's, that's the movement. Now, the next stage of that, once you get a good groove with that, what you can do next, let me just adjust this. What you can do next is you can, you can balance a shoe on your fist, okay? So this will really help you emphasize this top arm because a lot of people, once they get the, the movement going well up and down, they lose track of what's going on with this top arm. We want to keep it really locked out and connected, especially when we start to add a weight to it. So adding a shoe or something that you can balance on your fist is a good next step. So I'm here, get myself lined up. Here, drive it up. So I have this good control, a good line up top. I don't want to have my elbow bent. I'm supporting whatever's in my hand with my shoulder, with my lats, my back muscles. And then ease it back down. You'll start to see you, people lose it and drift and, and do all that kind of business, okay? So shoe is the next step. So that we can call that the level two. From there, if you have a light kettlebell, you can go bottoms up. Now this will really challenge you to try to stabilize the weight with, um, with this arm. If not, it'll clunk this way, okay? So when we're here, lined up, roll the forearm, straighten that arm out. So this is a lighter weight, this is not a problem. I can go up maybe a couple weights and it'll start to challenge me quite a bit. Shoulder stability wise, I'm up. Ease myself back down. So the exercise is up and down. There's a lot of people that will get to this top position here and they'll just kind of like lose all their form coming back down, okay? Boom, boom, boom. And then after that you can go with a kettlebell here. You can do this with a dumbbell, you can do it with a medicine ball. You can do it with so many different things, but the movement pattern itself, the baby get up, is line from the back, roll into your forearm, straighten that arm, and then drive your hips to the sky. 
there's even a first step, like especially when you have a weight, and I'll show you this now, like the setup, when you have a weight, usually you'll place the weight to the side and you'll roll, it starts with a roll. So this is actually the very first move of the Turkish get up is I'm scooping the weight underneath and I'll roll to my back, set myself up and then I'm ready to go. And then when I finish it, I'm here. The other thing to work on is the transition, which is to halo it over your head. Let me show you, I'll show you from this angle here. So I'm here, rolling it over her head and I'm kind of flipping it into this hand. Here. A lot of people will change by going down and then like crossing it over their chest. Okay? So there's some baby get up, some Turkish get up and uh, some goodness in there. So if you have any questions, just let me know. There we go.